This is the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Small Business Update with Tom Sullivan, exclusively on ASBN.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Welcome to the U.S. Chamber Small Business Update. Well, March is Women's History Month, and today we are thrilled to celebrate the remarkable achievements of women leaders in the world of business. I am pleased to welcome one of those leaders right now, CEO and co-founder of Lay & Go, Amy Fazakerly. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And again, we side by side, we have another familiar face, Tom Sullivan, the Vice President of Small Business Policy at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, Tom. Glad to see you again. Thank you, Cheyenne. Good to be here. So I love when you bring someone on, right? Because we get to hear their stories. We know you work so hard, Tom, to help support all of these businesses. Uh, Amy, tell us about your company and how the U.S. Chamber has, has helped your business. Sure. Well, I always like to start my story with necessity is the mother of invention. And we've all heard that. And that's pretty much my story. So 12 years ago, I was a mom with three young, very young boys and a million pieces of tiny Lego. And I basically needed a better cleanup and containment solution. So Lango was born out of not being able to find anything on the market that allowed me to play for hours, but clean up in seconds. And so we're uh, today a manufacturer of patented organizational solutions, what we like to call for life, play, and travel. And we have um, organizational solutions for toys, beauty, pets, and even the military. We hold six U.S. utility patents. And we're based in Alexandria, Virginia, which is right outside of D.C. and right down the street from Tom. Um, and your question about the U.S. Chamber and how that has helped us, it, it, it's helped in so many ways over the past eight years. But I think what I'll do is just really call out two of the biggest, largest issues that we've had um, as a small business. So one of them, one of the ways they've helped is that they've helped us address how intellectual property um, well, address intellectual property, and then also moving the dial on GSP, which is generalized systems of preference. So I'll start with the intellectual property issue. And as, as millions of products are offered on third party sellers each and every day, we know that we're consumers, um, dealing with these unauthorized and infringing sales of patented goods, which is what we have, has really been an issue for our business. And to alleviate the issue, Amazon created what they called the Amazon Patent Evaluation Express, or the APEX process. Um, by using this process, the goal was to form an even playing field for patent holders and then the potential patent infringers. So after years of struggling with the IP issues and more particularly the IP issues on Amazon's platform, the Chamber and Tom and his team really helped us to connect the dots and got us in front of the right people at the right time. And we were in, invited as a beta into this APEX program, which is phenomenal. So the result for, uh, for Lango and for our team was really a game changer. Um, we won a case. We were able to put the case number that they uh, assigned us into their uh, brand registry program. And since 2015, we've had tremendous success and, and protection on Amazon, which today is one of our number one sales channels, thanks to this program. Congratulations, that's awesome. And Tom, I, you know, I presume that's really what it's about, right? Being able to step in and help small business owners and women like Amy as well. What other initiatives do you have, Tom, going on to help women entrepreneurs? Well, sure, thank you, Shannon. So first of all, I, this is a little bit of opening up a window when, when I tell you I have the best job at the U.S. Chamber, now, now you can see why. Uh, I get to work with Amy and so many other wonderful CEOs who are women. Uh, the chair of our Small Business Council, Natalie Caddis, also a really successful women business owners. And you're right, hearing examples of how we work through a very difficult issue. And quite frankly, if I had a magic wand, I, I would let I, I would take care of all of the infringers so that uh, Amy and so many other entrepreneurs wouldn't have to worry about it. But I, I don't have a magic wand. And so connecting uh, Lay and Go with the folks at Amazon and really kind of nudging them forward towards solutions, that's the best part of my job. Uh, doesn't happen every day, but we try to make it happen as often as we can. And in answer to your question about you know, what are we doing to help women entrepreneurs and women business owners, Primarily, our help is through our small business digital website. Um, you've heard me talk about it before. It's called CO, C-O. 
And on this website, we are hoping that some of the content that is specifically curated to help women business owners uh, will actually help more women business owners learn from others to be successful. I'll, I'll give you really just one, one example. Uh, Teresa Ging is one of the featured stories on our small business digital platform. Here is a woman entrepreneur who actually helped use her women business owner certification to leverage her cookies. I'm looking at my notes. Uh, these are sugar bliss cookies. She was able to leverage that certification as a women business owner and get onto the shelves of Walgreens. So, so we want to tell that story through Teresa's voice in the hopes that that helped kind of other women entrepreneurs learn the lessons and quite frankly, some of the mistakes uh, that other women entrepreneurs have made. And so we're really happy with this platform that reaches 20,000 viewers a day and will continue to push uh, content that helps women entrepreneurs. Also, we just had our 14th annual International Women's Day. And of course, being the US Chamber of Commerce, we partnered with the State Department and we focused on business. Women business owners, entrepreneurs, leaders in C-suites. And I am sure that that same focus is gonna be in the 15th, 16th and 17th versions of our International Women's Forum. So really proud of that work and even more proud that that work continues. Amy, um, you know, being a part of a small business council, you know, obviously you've been able to lean on them for lots of support. And what other instances can you, or what other resources do you utilize them for to help you get through and grow? Yeah, so the small business council really is um, it's a champion the ability of small businesses like Lane Go to thrive and grow. So three of the things that I've really utilized and what they offer are peer-to-peer -peer learning, advocacy, and I always add visibility, um, and then the course, um, of course, the, the chamber resources. So we've had the pleasure to be on the council member since 2017, and over those eight years, we've had met the most amazing, smart, innovative, fun peers all around the country. Um, we swap stories and we ask each other questions monthly. We meet in via Zoom twice a month and then face-to-face -face twice a year. And I've found and my team has found that the group is so generous with their time and their talents. And it's been such a pleasure to develop these peer friendships. And I would add mentorships. Um, the chamber off also, I would say, offers my team and my brand and my company the most amazing resources through their network um, and their advocacy. When you have issues like we've had over the past 12 years, the intellectual property, the tariffs, the supply chain breakdowns, warehouse issues, it's so great to have a resource like the U.S. Chamber to lean on. And we know they'll always be there to help lead the way in anything we need. You know, we get so many um, headwinds and I feel like the Chamber gives us a few tailwinds every once in a while, which is really, really helpful. I can see that. You know, Amy, how has the celebration of women business ownership really impacted you on a personal level and, and your business? Yeah, so uh, being a woman-owned business has been really exciting. Um, we're women-owned business certified through WeBank, which is Women's Business Enterprise National Council, also in D.C. and right down the street from Tom. Um, and being women owned has been has really opened the doors, I would say, to a lot of peer mentorships and leader uh, leadership opportunities. I've been able to connect with peers through programs like WPO, which is Women Pr Presidents Organization, um, CVS's Consumer Health and Wellness Program, WeBank, which I mentioned, Goldman Sachs, 10,000 Small Businesses. That's just to name a few of the programs that I've participated in as a woman owned business. Um, I think it's also given us a lot of press and fabulous retail shelf exposure. We always love to show off our badge of honor on all of our packages. And I just wanted to show, point oh. out, like we use the logo women owned on everything. This is our, our beauty product. Um, this is our play product and even our pet product, our pet beds even have woman owned on them. That's so, awesome. um, you know, we really love that badge of honor and we, we use it proudly. Um, I would also, add that being woman owned our consumers and our retailers love to take note of that 
they notice and they really like to buy from businesses that are women owned. Um, we've been highlighted on the shelves of Target as women owned. We um, also have Tori Johnson celebrated women owned on Good Morning America several times and we've had, you know, um, call outs from and highlighted been highlighted on um, Good Morning America. And then most recently, just last week, JLo gave us a sh shout out as her, her favorite woman owned products on Amazon. So yes, we love being woman owned and we're proud of it. Okay, Tom, how do you top that? JLo? <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm not gonna try to top it. I'm just gonna say it again. JLo endorsed Lay and Go as one of the, her top women owned business products. So there it is. There's no way to top that. I know, I know. Well, you're part of it too, obviously, just you know, for support and providing those resources. Any final thoughts for us, Tom? Well, just thank you for your continued focus on women business ownership. Um, we love trying to provide a little bit of tailwind, but we always need more. And some of that support comes from you and ASBN. Thank you. And if you are a, a woman a entrepreneur, small business owner, you know, to get involved, what does that mean? Is that a lot of steps to apply and become a member? Um, through, well, WeBank, I would, I would really recommend that they look into WeBank, which is um, Women Business Enterprise National Council, and um, you can pull it up and, and they give you all the, you know, the data that you would need. It is, it is a process. I mean, there's some paperwork and there's certifications as far as your financials, and they like to go on site to make sure that you are, in fact, uh, what and who you are. Uh, you know, so yeah, they, they do, um, they do cross all their T's and dot all their I's and they do make you recertify every year. So it's an, an annual basis. You have to go through the same process every year. Amy Fazakerly, CEO and co-founder of Lay and & Go and Tom Sullivan, Vice President of Small Business Policy at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Thank you both. Great interview. Thank you. Thank you for having Thanks, me. Thanks, Shane. Bye. And thank all of you for watching the U.S. Jamer Small Business Update exclusively right here on ASBN.com and now streaming on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Small Business Update with Tom Sullivan.